She's a pretty brown thing Got them curls that came And everybody knows When they see me It's take glow She's got beauty and brain A glow that shines through rain She's take glow So the first gloss I'm going to be creating is a really dark brown nude color and I go in with the majority of a chocolate brown lip liquid and then a little bit of the white lip liquid and I just mix those two together and then I mix my oils in after and my most concentrated is coconut oil and then polyisobutane and then the grapeseed oil, avocado oil and then those two are the same and uh, my sweet almond oil is the less amount after that and then after that those are all of my oils and I just go in with the preservative cap and that is only about 0.8% to 1% of your mix and then after that you just want to completely mix that together all of your mixtures and I do do all of my oils then some people do their um preservative after but I like to mix it in with my oil so I'll know what color I have but once you pour it into your gloss base you just want to mix that thoroughly and i prefer to use this cake mix rather than a spoon because that helps distribute everything into each other evenly and then i just go in with my flavoring oil that is the only thing i don't pre-mix in i do that after so now you're getting ready to see me do that same process i always squeeze my versagel first and then create my mix and i go in with primarily white this time instead of brown because i'm going for a nude brown a very light brown and then i just use the white and a tad bit of brown and mix those together until i see the color i like and i was going for a really bright brown like i said so i think i went in with a little bit more brown or a little bit more white just to get the color i want yeah i used more brown because it was a little bit too light and i went in with some more white just so that it wouldn't get chocolate brown rather than this perfect nude color that i wanted and then here we go with the same process the most concentrated coconut oil and then polyisobutane and then grapeseed and avocado oil are even and then sweet almond oil is the last concentrated and of course the preservative cap is the most least do that make sense the most least <laughs> so then i just pour that into the bowl once i get the color i wanted and i just mix that together thoroughly and i went for a thicker gloss consistency this time than the first time i made my glosses simply because they came out really oily the thinner your gloss is it's less glossy and it's more of a oil like lip oils colored lip oils so i left them really thick and i was testing them on my lips as i went you always want to swash as you're going to make sure you have the color you want as well as the consistency and leaving it thick it looks like it's too thick but actually on your lips it's very smooth and not thick at all so here is me putting my flavoring oil and i do use vanilla for um, most of my nudes and some of those i mixed in as well so this one is like a pink so you see me adding pink brown i'm gonna add some white this one was more of a brownish pink nude i wanted a light brown with a pink tint i don't know if y'all know what i'm talking about but there's a certain nude that's like a brownish pink tint so you just see me going in and playing with this uh, making nude glosses is very trial and error and if you don't pay attention and write down what you're mixing, then most likely it'll be hard for you to recreate that gloss. Just like watching this video, it's going to be hard for you to recreate these glosses. So I don't mind telling you my colors and letting you see the colors. So of course, that's brown, pink, and white. And I try to go in with the primarily white and brown and a tad bit of pink just to have a hint of pink. Also, you get a better color when you pre-mix the colors that you want and then mix them in your oils because it'll give you the exact color that your oils are rather than mixing it after it changes the chemistry of everything so if you're going for a tinted gloss you want to make sure that you're mixing your um, lip liquids before you uh, put them in your gloss with your oils and then you'll see me going in with this yellow and this because this was because the gloss was looking a little bit too pink to me and I knew the yellow would make my gloss browner rather than too brown if i use the brown if you get what i'm saying you got to kind of know what colors will make what colors but that's kind of asking for too much and you see i'm adding the pink and it's not really doing anything it's because the pink was just sitting at the bottom for some reason so um i fixed that once i went ahead and poured this into the glass and i'm just gonna let y'all see that and stop talking
so you can see the little pink dots that came from the bottom but i just mix that um and i mix it really thoroughly of course just like i would any other gloss even though i knew i didn't have my color but i wanted to make sure it was mixed before i went in and added more color just to make it smoother in a smoother transition the more clumpy your gloss is the harder it is to mix anything so i just mixed that up really well and then i added that pink so now is where i step away from the brownish nudes and i go into the pinks so my primary primary color here is the pink i add a tad bit of red just to create a darker pigment and then i add a lot of white if you don't know mixing white with any of your colors creates a he heavier pigment i'm not sure why but i notice when i just use colors by themselves like if i was to only use the pink the pigment is thicker with the white I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure a lot of people who have made gloss have realized that. But I wanted this really cute bubblegum pink color. And of course, when I mix it in with the oils and the gloss, it came out lighter than it looked before. But it was very cute and I was happy with the color. And this one was a bit of a glitter gloss. It may seem like I added a lot of glitter, but since the glitter was primarily pink glitter, you can't really see it. So it's still a nude gloss. But y'all, this is a very pretty pink color and y'all should really try this color. If y'all don't know, I was using the baby pink lip liquid dye, I think. And yes, it, it may not be a lip liquid, but it is approved for lip use. So make sure you're using um, TKB's products for what they're intended for and they will tell you. So it doesn't have to be a lip liquid or a minka powder to go in the lip gloss. You just have to make sure it says it's approved in the US and UK for lip products so i add some holographic glitter some pink glitter some red glitter and that is how i create this gloss Now, for this last gloss, which was absolutely my favorite, I go in with primarily pink, uh, and then a good amount of brown, and the smallest amount is white. So, my most concentrated is the pink, then the white, and then a little bit of that brown, and this is just to create a natural-looking pink that is nude. Like, the other one was nude for completely bright skin tone this is more of a pink nude that can go with any skin color and right now it looks super pink and i will go in and add more brown and more white later and you will see that Now, since I'm just repeating the same process, I'm going to give y'all a little bit of tips. So, of course, I already told you, you want to pre-mix your oils and the color before mixing into your gloss and it gives you a heavier pigment. But, like I said before, you always want to test your colors during the process. Even though it may look very pigmented, it may not be. You really want to make sure that you're testing those colors out because you want to make sure it's as pigmented as you as you want it and you want to make sure it's not as pigmented as you want it because if you want more of a transparent red or a transparent pink you want to use less of those concentrates even though your gloss will still appear to be tinted it may not be tinted on your actual lips so make sure you are paying attention to what you're going for in your gloss and you also want to make sure you're not putting too much of these lip liquids because it will change your gloss from glossy to a butter gloss i don't know if i got it on camera but some of these i went back in and added some more versagel after um i added more of the lip liquids because i did not want a butter gloss and i wanted a very thick gloss 
Also, some of you may have heard me say poly, poly isobutane and wondered what is this? Is this good for your lips? Pretty much the poly isobutane is used to make your lip gloss shinier and smoother. So you just want to check that product out on TKB's website and see what it's used for and see the amount you should use in your gloss. And then you can see that I go back in and add some white because it was a little bit darker than I wanted. And I added a little bit more pink. And then I just mixed those. And that was the final touches I did of this gloss. As you can see, it is really pretty. And like I said, although it appears very dark here, even after mixing on the lips, it is a very subtle pink that is so natural and very beautiful on any lip colors, any skin colors. This is a very pretty pink. So right here is a comparison shot and y'all I went back in with brown. I'm really not sure why. I wish I would have left it how it was because it was very pretty on camera. But for some reason I went back in with brown. Obviously I didn't like something about the color and we're just going to see what turns out because I don't even remember why I did that. <laughs> So next I'll be going in with some Versagel just to make sure that I don't use that glossy texture since I did go back in with a lot of pigment. You just want to go in with some um, Versagel and you can always fix what you do. Like if you make your gloss too runny, too thick, you can always go back and fix it. But you just have to catch what you did. Like using too much lip pigments, you can always go back in and add more oils and more Versagel. So pretty much after I mixed it, that was the end of this video. I didn't have any more left. So I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And peace out, Techlo gang.